lots of innovation around renewable heating at All Energy 2011. And we're now going to speak to Atul Duckett, who is the Managing Director of AD Heating. We're a locally based Aberdeenshire company that specialises in biomass and solar thermal uh, technologies. The two integrate very well together. In the wintertime you can obviously get most of your heating from the, the biomass boiler and in the summertime the, the solar takes over. A question we're asked a lot of the time is uh, we can't fit a pellet boiler and a solar thermal system or the pellet store into our property. So locally between myself and another uh, a business that's, that's nearby, Freddie Simpson Joiners, we've come together to, to create what we've called the heat hut and it's an integrated solution. That has solar thermal panels on the, the side of it and if we walk into the, the heat hut we've got a 15 kilowatt Solar Focus Octoplus which is a, a boiler and thermal store integrated together and the solar also feeds into this. They can provide all the hot water and heating requirements for your average three, four bedroom house. One of the big issues with um, uh, getting pellets delivered is the actual storage of it and the space that's required. If we walk into the heat hut, we can show that the solution that we've come up with, um, the other side of the heat hut has a 10 cubic meter store and uh, a lot of people complain about augers taking up a third of the space. Uh, a product called the Slillinger Mole has been developed in Austria, that, um, uh, sorry Germany, um, that means you can just have a square box and it vacuums the pellets into the store and it moves around eating up the pellets basically. If we have a look inside the boiler you can see how compact this unit actually is. The pellets are vacuumed into the top of the boiler and then a screw brings the, the pellets down into the burn chamber. What's unique about the solar focus pellet boilers is it's a down burn principle so the actual flame goes down the way. The next chamber is where the, the flame goes through and then it actually goes through the center of the thermal store and there's a roller inside that actually compresses the ash into a small bucket. So you, you'd be looking to three to four months you could potentially run without having to remove the ash from the boiler. Uh, I thought you mentioned a uh, thermal store yeah. um, which is integrated into this boiler. Can you say a little bit more about how important that is and yeah, how that absolutely. functions? Your traditional gas, oil and gas boilers can turn off and turn on very, very quickly. A pellet boiler takes a little time to start up because you're lighting solid fuel. It can take anywhere between a few minutes to, to five or six minutes to light up. So to allow you to have instantaneous heat, the thermal store acts a bit like a battery and the boiler is the battery charger. So as and when you require heating into the house, it draws it from the thermal store, the temperature drops, the boiler kicks in, and then brings the temperature back up again. So what's in the store, is it water? Or? It's just water, yeah. There are some more sophisticated stores that use phase change materials, uh, a paraffin based material that's a solid to start off with, and when it gets above 55 degrees, it turns into a liquid. Um, and they're a really small footprint and you can store a hell of a lot of energy in that and it works very well where space is a constraint in somebody's house. The solar thermal panels on the side of the heater, those are the full size panels that you, you would see uh, on a house. Two panels would heat a 300 litre hot water cylinder and obviously we've got a 500 litre thermal store so there's three panels on this uh, unit to give you all your hot water requirements. A fourth panel could be added uh, which would then give you some supplementary heating if uh, uh, your house, say, had underfloor heating, which uses a lower grade of heat. Does uh, that integrate with the biomass? Oh, it is. It's fully integrated. It's fully integrated. It's fully integrated, the two, two units. And the controller on the boiler itself actually uh, can figures out when it's summertime and sort of says, actually, we won't fire the boiler till later on in the day once the sun's had a chance to heat the thermal store, maximizing the sun's energy. Does that mean that you save quite a lot of fuel then? Yeah, I mean, um, a typical uh, an installation we've just put in, uh, it's a 25 kilowatt boiler with six solar thermal stores. They'll save approximately a ton of pellets a year because the sun will be providing all their heat, uh, uh, sort of some of the heat in spring and autumn time, but all of their hot water requirements from basically April through to September. Now you've also got a, a smaller pellet stove here as well, yep. which looks a bit like a log burning stove, but can you tell us a little bit about how, yeah. how that works? The, the cheapest way to, to get heat into your house with uh, the use of pellets and the convenience of pellets is a, is a pellet stove similar to this. Uh, this is a 7 kilowatt uh, unit that the pellets are poured into the top of the unit and automatically fed in. So all the customer needs to do is turn it on, 
and dictate the temperature they wish within the room and the stove will heat up and go at full power until the temperature starts to get to the 21 or 22 degrees they'd like it at and drop back down again. And this unit can actually be controlled by a remote control so you can do it from your armchair as well. And it provides a convenience that is not there with logs where you have to store, chop and split the logs. The pellets can be bought in convenient bags and poured into the, pe poured into the unit as and when you require it. So if I was a consumer and I was buying a product like this, um, what, what kind of uh, arrangements would you offer? Would you offer servicing and service contracts? Absolutely. Um, discovered over time that uh, about 40% of the sale is actually the unit itself and 60% of the sale is actually the servicing and aftercare you provide with it. We've taken quite a large step in the country at the moment to go from you pressing the button on your time clock and getting heat to weather compensating controls and the boiler actually dictating everything that goes on. Uh, what time it comes on in the day, what temperature it is, whether it's on 24 hours and there's a setback temperature. And, and it takes a quite a lot of training. On average, I spend about two or three hours with the customer after I've installed the equipment. So they fully understand what they, as a customer and consumer, have to do and what I, I'll expect them to do so that to uh, reduce the amount of times I have to come and visit the boiler. In the early days of some of the pellet stoves, there was often reliability issues that were reported. Is your sense that that's getting better now? Or? Uh, definitely. Um, I've, I've done a lot of work now uh, with a few companies. Uh, Rivali uh, provided these stoves for the All Energy Show. Uh, and in Denmark, they, they're shifting about 10,000 Rivali stoves a year. Uh, and it's, it's a huge number. The Italians love the stoves and, and I have to agree that they'll fit into a lot of situations where people have maybe just replaced their oil or gas boiler for a latest condensing boiler, but they still would like to run on heat and we can integrate all of those systems together.